If you own MULN or you're thinking about buying MULN, Mullen Automotive, please stay tuned to this video, okay? I've got some stuff that I'm a little concerned with that I need to make you aware of if you're not already. There is a lot of good news uh, surrounding Mullen right now. We talked about that on the video yesterday. We were hoping some good news would come in to keep the positive momentum going. Uh, you got news today uh, that Mullen on June the 27th will be entering into the Russell 2000 and 3000. Really good news. Okay. But looking at the charts, I see some red flags. Not saying that this stock's going to go down, but if you are a shareholder of MULN or you're thinking about buying it, please stay tuned to the rest of this video uh, to see what I'm talking about on the chart. Okay. So let's get into the daily chart on MULN. And this is what I'm seeing. Now, I've been doing this for a while and I have been in stocks just like this. Uh, in the past where you've got new, uh, news coming up that should be good for the stock, but the chart is telling you something else. And what has ended up happen happening to me in the past is I wait on the news hoping that this stock just busts out and I end up losing money. Now, I'm not saying that's the case with uh, Mullen, M-U-L-N here, but I want to tell you what I'm seeing on the charts okay looking at the daily what I do like about this is you still have a 45 degree angle going on your MACD your blue line is above your orange line everything looks great there now that is something that I put a lot of money on is the daily MACD so that looks good however your volume has faded uh, from last week when you had this run up you have a gap at 103 uh, all the way back from last week that will have to be filled at some time. Today, you got some good news and your volume only went up slightly. But the bigger concern for me, look at these tops of these candles on, your, on the last five days. Your stock's going up every day to a point and then it's being met by a bunch of sellers. Okay, and it's causing these wicks on the top. These are usually bad signs in my experience. And that is telling you that there is a lot of sellers up here ready to get out. Now, like I said, I'm not saying that this stock is going to go down. I just, you need to be cautious here. Okay, because making money in stocks, with stocks, is one of the easier things to do. The hard part is cutting your losses early or getting out of a stock before you lose money. Okay, that's the hardest part because it's easy for us to ride a stock down thinking that we're right and that it's gonna come back up and we're gonna make money. So I do not want anyone to lose money on this, okay? I'm not saying you're going to do your own D&D. &D. This is just redneck advice. I am not a professional trader. Do your own D&D. &D. Just telling you what I see on the charts. And from my past experience, you got to watch out for these wicks on the tops of daily candles. I've seen so many of these reverse and go the other way. So I wanted to bring this video out. Uh, i seen the news this morning. I was excited uh, about trading MULN this morning. I actually got one trade off early this morning, made a little bit of money. I know a lot of other traders that seen the news on Mullen, uh, MULN this morning, thought this thing was going to rip. And it did not. Okay. So that is a red flag, folks. I'm telling you, with good news like you had today, I thought this stock should have took off. Okay. And you should have broke out above this high of last, what is that, Wednesday or Tuesday of last week at $1.68. I thought you should have took out $1.68 today with that news. I was ready for it. I had it pulled up and I was just waiting for it to break and it never did. So to me, that is a huge red flag, just something that I want you to be cautious of, uh, to be watching for uh, in the coming days. And uh, where do I think this stock is going? Well, it, 
if this holds true and this does reverse, you do have a, a gap fill down here at a dollar three that I am concerned about. Not saying it's going to go there. On the flip side, if you can get this volume uh, to come back up, you got to break through today's high of a dollar fifty four, and then you got to take out uh, the high of last week of a dollar sixty eight. If you can do that with good volume, you're going to run back up here to two dollars and fifteen cents. Uh, you're going to hit the fifty uh, MA right here. And then if you can, the volume stays, you can go up and maybe hit this 285. First things first, we have got to get a close above these wicks right here. This is very concerning to me. And I am looking uh, and watching every day on this stock to see what happens. Now, I haven't done a lot of MULN videos in a long time. I done one yesterday, but I felt that I needed to come out today and, and just show you what I'm seeing on the charts. Now, I may be wrong. Tomorrow, this thing may go up $3. And you can say, hey, Redneck, you're an idiot. Uh, you know, you were just being very cautious or whatever. You're an idiot. Whatever, you, you missed that one. Well, you know, that happens. But if I can save anybody money, if this thing does go down, and I can save anybody, you know, a few dollars, that's, that's what I'm here for, you know. Uh, I want us all to help each other grow. And if we see anything... Let's bring it to each other's attention. Uh, the, the point is, on this channel, we're going to make money. And sometimes the best way to make money is to preserve your gains or limit your losses, okay? Like I said, one of the easier things to do is make money on a stock. But keeping those gains and not losing money is the hard part because we want to hang on because we think we're right, okay? Uh, if you're honest with yourself, we're all like that, okay? That's one of our biggest weaknesses as a human in the stock market. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Until next time, I'll see you then.